It is Thursday morning and I'm doing something I have never done before. I am planting some tomatoes super duper early for where I live. These are some, I, as you can see, I've explained before that I have the ones that I actually want to go in my garden in the bigger bootstrap farmer pots. So they're big, they're 3.3 inch, I believe. And then I put the ones that were backups or giveaways into these smaller pots. So I actually took some of the ones that are on the smaller side. I didn't even put any of like the stuff that I usually put in them because I really don't have high hopes for these. I, we got a frost last year on May 17th, crazy. It's April 11th, I believe. So I'm rebel planting these bad boys, but it has been just such an unseasonably like warmer type winter. And I don't know, I've thought, you know, if it does get cold, maybe I can just come down here and throw a blanket over these. But if they die, I'm like already expecting them to die. It's fine. I've got backups of them. So what did I plant? I planted seahorse. I planted eaglet. I planted mermaid. I need to get tags because these were just the tape on the thing. I planted bug tussle blues, which is a potato leaf. Isn't that pretty? And then black and brown boar. So follow along with me, guys, to see if this was a waste or, I mean, it took me three seconds. I just actually, I just put them in the dirt. It's supposed to rain and be overcast. I haven't even like hardened them off. They've been in the greenhouse for f five days. So they got a little bit of, you know, UV and all that. And today is supposed to be overcast. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain a whole bunch. So I figured I might even come down and plant a few more. I don't know. Maybe I'll plant up this whole row and just see if I can get some early tomatoes. I might do that. I'm just so excited. It might be a complete like sadness, <laughs> but it'll be fine. Look at that gorgeous lettuce patch. So I just cut all this. You can see where I've cut, but a big old bowl full there. Um, I need to clean these up. These were my Brussels sprouts that have now went to seed. I'm probably gonna leave one so I can save the seeds from it. Maybe two, we'll see, but yeah, my Brussels sprouts were kind of, I don't know, I guess I just don't have it quite right. You can see they're kind of small, but I need to get this cleaned up. I need to get this whole deck, like pot, pot situation cleaned up. Mint's coming back. I don't know what that is. Is that a weed? Then my flowers are starting to pop up here. What is this? Oh, that's cat mint, but this must be, I think this is just a weed. Yeah. Oh, that's got a deep root. Oh, well darn. Hmm. Alrighty, so he got it finished. So here's the bed I've been had to redo because it was caving in last year and I couldn't even walk on the walkway. If I have a clip or a picture of what it looked like before, I'll throw it up, but no. Oh, lots of work to be done here. That's a block of cement right there. So I have to dig out all these chunks and mess and kind of add some more nice garden soil here. Same here. There's a strawberry plant that Oh no, this is probably an asparagus plant. It is. Oh, damn. Yeah, they, I should have asparagus popping up. But I could probably replant this and it'd be okay. Let's set that guy up there. Yeah, I mean, he's got some good roots, but yeah, oh. The one little asparagus fell off. Oh, dang. Okay. 
yeah, I had asparagus planted all the way across here and I don't really see any of it popping up because I believe it was like right here in the middle. Oh man. Yeah. <sighs> he he uh, put this right through asparagus roots. So, oh, there's one. There's one popping up and another one. Oh, there's another one. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'll just have to replant some crowns. So I'm going to have to add a bunch of soil back into this. Oh, man. I might in the bottom here. I probably, well, what I do for, I think I did for this bed and this bed is take chunks of tree, like some tree trunks and put at the bottom and it's like hugo culture like you put the big piece at the bottom that needs breaking down and then but then he also had to oh my poor tree this he redid because it had fallen down there it is so just everything and then this bed gosh everything's falling down so It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going to be fine. Let's see, he put the black plastic up to keep the dirt from being directly intact with the wood. So hopefully that'll be somewhat helpful. I forgot to trim these berry bushes. That's why they're like they are. That right there looks like a blueberry plant. I did not plant that, but it sure does look like one. I'll have to go check, see if it is. Oh, what a mess. I do want to get this one fixed up though, because I want to plant strawberries here. Or not strawberries, I want to plant tomatoes here in the next few weeks. Uh, oh boy, guys, sitting here taking a break because, woo! I just did a tough job. You see that mess right there? I don't know if you guys remember. I had corn. Or, I don't know. Something called deer corn, I guess it was. Because it wasn't like real corn. That was trying to grow right here. Last year. And, uh, I needed to dig it up. Obviously, you can see all of the roots. So, it had, like, spread. There might still be some right here, but I have to move this. And then there was a chunk or two chunks of it over there. They were small, though, and hadn't gotten very far last year. So I dug those up. But, gosh, what a pain in the tuchus. I mean, these were just, like, all over. And they were up in here, and I had to dig them out. But I'm just sitting here trying to take a little break <laughs> before I clean up the mess. But I just thought I'd give you an update that I did get that silly corn out of here. I don't want it growing up. It just took up so much space. It took up this whole space. I could grow like two, maybe three squash right here. Um, which I think that's what this bed will be. It's going to be squash. And I think the bed above me, which I left. Let me show you. I cleaned up this bed too. So this bed was full of weeds. Cleaned it up. This bed had a couple of weeds not a lot i did plant some thousand head kale right here uh, i think it gets massive so i might regret that but i did it anyways um and then over here this was from last fall i planted these are southern collards and so i don't know i mean i could harvest this right here but it's probably going to go to seed yeah it's already going to seed I'm going to save the seeds from this, and then also this is probably going to go to seed. It's not very big, but it'll give me a lot of seeds, and it's the purple cauliflower. So, I'm just going to let it go to seed. And then I had, I believe it was either thousand head kale or tronchuto. I think it was thousand head kale. It was really massive. I mean, it was huge. And I just fed my chickens from those kales. That's probably what that is, which I think I may regret putting them there. I might, now that this is cleaned up, transplant them over here because this was an okay spot for them to be. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that because I didn't realize it was going to be so easy. I, I mean, I pulled them up there. There's the stalks of them. I mean, there's one of them. 
of them there. So they just grew um, leaves all the way up the stem and just kept growing. And then we got like a really cold snap and they, they died. They didn't look good anymore and they were just ridiculous looking. So I need to just start fresh and grow some more. And I think what I put there, I can, I'm probably going to move down here. We'll see. I don't know. So, yeah, probably going to plant thousand head kale, tronchuto kale there again. And then down here, what I left are garlics. This is, I think, a couple of elephant garlics that came back. So I took some of the corms from last year's garlic and shoved them in the ground. And there's a pile of garlic there. So there must have been like a whole head that I forgot and all the corms are sprouting. I'm going to leave those. I just want to see what happens. And I could get probably a couple of heads. Well, there's another one. Three heads of uh, elephant garlic from here. But that is what I'm doing. So I made my way over to Materville. And I'm dragging the cardboard from the other end. All the way over to here. And I'm just working around my Pepperville piles. Um, and mulching. So I'm just laying down the cardboard really layering it thick and then using the wood chip mulch to mulch around the beds i got almost finished i did not get quite finished but so, i really failed vlogging or at least <laughs> ending the vlog last week so i'm just like taking a look here at the tomato plants i planted let me show you yeah so what was I saying? I did a whole bunch of stuff last weekend and then I failed to vlog any of it. I was just trying to go, 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 go. Um, but I'm going to tell you about what I did and then I'll start a new vlog tomorrow. Alright, so here are... I haven't done anything. I haven't watered them. But this one here looks incredibly rough. I don't know what happened to it. This one's seahorse. Now, like I said, I have a backup, but I probably won't plant. I don't know how many backups I have. So unless I can find another backup in one of these, because I will have a large one. I always put, if, even if I only had one, I put in a larger container. That way I would know just what I had left. So if I don't have any more seahorses in this kind size pot, then I won't be replacing seahorse with seahorse. I'll be replacing it with something else, but I'm gonna just wait and see what happens here. Might bounce back, you never know, even when they look this pathetic, but the rest of them look like they probably got a little sunburnt. So that's sunburn right there. Cause I did not harden them off. That was another thing I did not do. I just stuck them out here. It was an overcast day. And they all got a little sunburnt, but they'll be okay. This one did okay. Potato leaf. And then this one here. It's got a little sunburn on it, but it will be just fine. So, there's the tomato plants. What else did I do last week? Oh, and look, there's wine cap mushrooms and a screw. Lots of screws. Whoopsie, my husband must have dropped some screws. But look, I got wine cap mushrooms popping up. Isn't that neat? There's a bunch there. Oh, here's a really cool one. Look at that. Neat. So cool. So, I finished putting um, mushroom compost across here and then I mulched behind it because that's sort of like my walkway for me to get to that bed. And then I put a nice layer of mushroom compost on top of there and then it looks like there's some weeds already popping up yeah so that's like a weed um those are snapdragons what else did i do oh i did this bed too so i put a nice layer of mushroom compost slash um garden soil and then mulched behind here because that's my walkway and then i finished this and then heading up here to the bed that was redone. I think my last clip I got was me cleaning it up 
and I did. I got it all cleaned up and then I added and basically kind of filled it. And we put the cattle panels back. So we got all that done. Um, as far as this bed goes, I'm not all that worried about filling it just yet. I'm gonna do all the other stuff I need to do and then when everything's planted and, whoa, look at that asparagus. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I don't know if I should harvest it since it's they've been so traumatized. Uh, they're so big though. Maybe I'll just harvest one from every, every shoot. Oh, I gotta eat this. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Okay. And then I'll harvest one from here. So, they didn't all get messed up. Mm, they're so tender. But, like I was saying, I'll probably just wait to fill this bed. I'm probably going to fill it with um, some of that old wood that's over there in that wood pile. Yeah, right there. It's between mine and my neighbor's. Well, it's on my neighbor's property, but he lets me put some of my wood there, too. And, uh... That's probably what I'll fill this with. Oh, so what's on the agenda now? I'm going to start hauling dirt to fill. I had Ben fix this part of the bed here. He came and was kind enough to do that for me. So this right here had started to kind of fall out a little bit like everything else because it's on a hill so he reinforced it with a new piece of wood and so I need to come in and fill because I had to dig this out so I'm going to fill this bed a little bit more since I've got all that soil oh look at my purple asparagus oh so he's going to fix this bed after he fixed the walkway here because that walkway is treacherous so there's that Um, but, oh my gosh, look at all the asparagus. Oh, so cool. Okay. There's my thousand head kales. They're doing okay, most of them. So is everything else that there's, I planted celery from the winter sowing jugs. And up here around the bed, I planted cabbages. I don't think I showed you this planted cabbages and cauliflowers and whatever I had in the winter sowing jugs. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. Now that we got it all cleaned up, I did drag out that turf from underneath the deck. And Ben was kind enough to actually cut it for me. So he cut it to fit. It's all around there. So now I just need to put the rocks back along there and then he actually put it around the heat pump and water pump for the pool um, because we have this issue with these stupid weeds so he put down some he put down the old pool cover the black cover that you put on the winter so he put that down underneath of it and then he put this turf I don't think I'm gonna leave it like this I think I'm gonna cut that off and then have it go that way but let's go in here and show you all the mess that is all of my plants in the greenhouse. There's a ton still down in the basement, but I just, I need to get this organized before I bring anything more in here. There's the peppers and the two tomatoes I planted. I might have showed you this in the beginning of the vlog, but look, there's flowers, lots of flowers on my corbachis. But my tomato plants are doing great. I gotta need to put down my uh, garden find here so I can hold my phone a little better. We'll come back and get those later. But look at this one. Look at that variegation. <gasps> that is beautiful. So this one is, what is this one? Find the label. Nemu. N-I-M-U variegated, Nemu variegated. Let's see if I can find anything else that looks really cool. 
And then everybody's doing pretty well so far. I don't really think I've had too many losses. Been trying to keep things watered. Which is getting hot in here, so it's getting difficult. Especially these micro dwarfs. I don't know about these. These guys are taking up so much space. So I've got all of the plants up here. As you can see, I'll get up on my step stool here. Everybody is, look, look at that overachiever. <sighs> they're growing, they're outgrowing this area here for sure. But I brought them all in here and they're all taken to it beautifully. Tomorrow's supposed to be overcast, so I'm probably going to take everybody, at least the micro dwarfs, take these all outside. So these were the latest arrivals. So they're still trying to get acclimated a bit. What is that? Oh, baby micro. Yummy. You've got some maters on there for me. Now I've got the micro dwarfs outside. They're flowering like crazy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is just not a good spot for them. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's what I was up to last weekend. And it's a gorgeous day. And it's probably, I think, like after four. And I've just been inside doing a bunch of stuff. And I need to get outside and get some fresh air and get some sun and do some manual labor like I always do. And uh, so I'm going to continue this vlog probably tomorrow. Well, I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow because I did not finish the last one so this will be the ending to should have been the ending last week but I was so tired I just didn't want to pick up the camera most of the time <laughs> so sorry about that but hopefully this will suffice and kind of catching you up before I start another one and I will see you all in the next one and Jen Joy as I point this broken piece of wood at you Jen Joy your day